Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to welcome you to our virtual open event for business and public services. I'm um, David Towsey. I'm head of learning for business and public services here at Crawley College and I'm joining you this evening with my colleague Dave Hilton who's our study program leader for public services. So between the two of us we're going to talk you through those two subjects. Um, we're just going to start in a minute or so. Um, before we do, um, just to let you know, we'll be recording this webinar. So if you wanted to see it again, or if anyone misses it or comes in late this evening, you'll be able to watch it on our website, probably from about tomorrow onwards at the address that's there at the bottom of the screen. Um, as you are listening to us talk, you may well have questions that you'd like to ask us please use the Q&A box that you see at the bottom to ask us the questions and then at the end we'll go through them and we'll answer them for you. Um, if you have any chat, any technical problems at all um, with hearing us or accessing it, um, please do use the chat box for that. You'll see that there's a message in there already and my colleagues are also on the call will help you out with that. So um, just seeing that everybody is here now, I think um, it's probably a good time to start. All right, so if we just move on to the next slide. Um, now, before we talk about business and public services at Crawley College, one really exciting and brilliant thing that I wanted to make sure we shared with you all was that we are now officially um, an outstanding college and college group um, because Ofsted came in and visited us back in March and spent a lot of time with us and um, with our staff, with our students, and they found that um, our provision is now outstanding. And some of the things they said that they really picked out the passion, the subject expertise of our teachers, inspiring them to extend learning. And also about our students, that they do really, really well here at Crawley, um, make strong progress for their studies, develop new knowledge and skills, and end up achieving to a really high level in their time with us. So that's one really brilliant thing now about us that we can offer you in terms of our standard of education. So if I just move on to the next slide, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our business courses first. So if we move on, um, now people come and do business at Crawley College for a whole range of different reasons. There's a whole variety of different career areas, job areas that you can do by doing a business course with us. So you might be interested in getting into finance and being an accountant. Um, you might be interested in human resources, um, in marketing, in sales, maybe in retail management, all sorts of things that you can do that you can build up skills in business that our courses cover. You might even be interested in launching your own business and a lot of the students who join us on a business course just want to develop the skills to do that. Now, if you're joining us from school and you're doing a full-time business course with us, the course you start with, the level you start with, will very much depend on the GCSEs that you come to us with. So if you've got at least, um, if you've got at least um, four GCSEs at grade three, then you'll be coming in for our level two business course and doing your maths and English alongside that to get your grade four. If you've got five GCSEs at grade four, including English and maths, you'll come in at level three. But both our level two and our level three courses include all areas of business. They're, there's a great variety to them. So you'll look at different kinds of businesses. You'll look at how business finance works. You'll look at marketing. You'll look at sales. You'll look at business change all sorts of different things. The only real difference is that at level two, um, the, the work is project-based and you'll do a number of different projects and be continuously assessed through them. At level three, you'll have a couple of exams each year in, in, a, in a couple of the areas, but still most of the course will be coursework-based and you'll be doing assignments. Um, one of the really exciting things about doing business at Crawley is once you've moved on from doing the level three course, you can either go away to university or you can stay with us and we offer a higher education course, a higher national diploma in business. Now that has the same content as the first two years of an undergraduate degree. And you can do that here in Crawley with us. And lots of people do come straight into that as well. 
um, and another progression route as well as we offer a big variety of professional courses and apprenticeships. So if you want to go on and specialise in a particular area of business and build up a professional qualification in that, you could do that at Crawley too. So we've got courses in human resources and accountancy and procurement and supply that you can go on and you can go through and take, uh, take you through to whatever business area or career you want to join in. So I'm sure you'll have lots of questions about that that we'll have a look at at the end, but um, I'll leave you now and pass you on to my colleague, Dave Hilton, who's going to talk us through public services. So over to you, Dave. Uh, thanks, David. Hi there, everyone. Um, uh, the public services course um, aims to prepare you for uh, a number of different careers. These could include the um, emergency services, that's to say the police, the, uh, the fire and rescue service and the ambulance service. It could also prepare you for one of the many um, armed forces in the UK, uh, the, the best known being the, uh, the British Army, the Royal Navy, the Royal Air Force, the Royal Marines. Um, there are other uh, services that aren't inside those two categories. They could be the prison service, the border force, the list does go on actually. So we can prepare you for any of those things. Uh, what we tend to do is, is tailor the course for you. So if you're specifically keen on joining the police, then we can support you in doing everything we can to get you ready for that particular job. That doesn't mean after a week or a month or a year, you, you change your mind, that's absolutely fine. So you will learn a little bit about all the different aspects of the public services, whether they are one of the emergency services or one of the armed forces or, or otherwise. So you do learn a little bit about everything and that's a very, very important part of the course. Now the course um, is generally, we split half and half. Half of it is theory and half tends to be practical. And that practical can be inside the classroom, um, doing all, all number of tasks, uh, but also outside too, uh, getting cold, muddy sometimes, getting wet. Um, but that's all they call character building. And that's the thing that our students tend to really enjoy, that outdoors activity and that enrichment that comes with it. We work the same levels again, level one, level two, level three, but the content is virtually identical in all those levels. So level one, level two, level three, you will be getting that 50-50 mix of the theory and the practical, which is indoors and outdoors, of course. We run a number of visits as well. Um, we, we, we've been to places like um, the Parliament in London. We've been to the Imperial War Museum, as you can see a few pictures there. We've been to RAF bases. You can see us um, in, by a Chinook helicopter there. That was, uh, that was some time ago. Um, we also try and get into uh, Army bases, Royal Navy bases. Uh, again, that's when they allow us to do that. And we have done that in the past. On the legal side of things, we visit law courts. That's the magistrates court and the crown court to see how laws are made and processed. We've been to the police custody suite. We've had a tour around there to so see how people are, are processed, should they be arrested. Um, we've been, um, the foreign trip we had the last few years, we went to Sweden and that was an outdoors activity that lasted for four days, four nights. That included a camp as well. Uh, we have out, uh, sorry, uh, guest speakers come in, we can have them from the police, the, the, uh, the, the, yes, the fire service, the ambulance service. Uh, we're, um, we're planning on getting someone in from the Army, RAF and Royal Navy in quite soon. So you'll, you'll, you'll get the guest speakers coming in. They have uh, up-to-date expertise in their field and they can, they can ask, answer any questions that you may have and also help you with the, uh, the application process and, and uh, give you the tips for getting in. Otherwise, um, we, we do other activities, things like um, orienteering, um, uh, treasure hunt type activities down at Tealgate. We do map reading, start off at the South Downs, uh, head to Ashdown Forest, and, and then towards the spring, we look at places like the New Forest, or even uh, we have done in Wales, the Black Mountains and Brecon Beacons, places like that. That of course will include um, overnight stays, overnight camps as well. So we'd be uh, doing our own cooking and um, you know living off the land as best we can. There is a lot uh, more to tell you, of course. Um, so if you have any questions, please uh, please um, please let us know. But you can see from the pictures that we do get out and about quite a bit, and the students um, really enjoy the course because of that aspect of it. But be aware that we do do theory, as I mentioned. So there is quite a bit of writing and report writing, presentations. Um, the units include preparing you for a career. The physical preparation that goes along with that as well. So you don't have to be super duper fit uh, with day one, but we aim to improve your fitness throughout that year or two year course, depending on what you choose. Other than that, 
Um, pass you on to the next slide, please. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks, Dave. Um, and just before we finish, I wanted to also talk about some of the things that go on beyond our courses. So whether you're doing business or public services or any other course at Crawley College, what's really important to us is supporting our students and giving you those extra elements of student life and thinking about you and your progression that go beyond that. So in addition to your course team and the people who will be supporting you with your teaching, you'll also get a student tutor and they will be following what's called our ACES programme. So they'll be doing sessions with you that look at your employment destinations, developing your skills, thinking about your attitudes to things and the choices you make. And they'll also be supporting you individually and in making progress with your studies and everything else that's going on in your life. I mentioned a little bit for our level one and level two courses. You don't need to have your maths and English at grade four to join them, that's not a problem. But if you don't, you will be carrying on with your GCSE maths and English as part of your studies here, just because those qualifications are so important to your future employment prospects. And we've got our own dedicated team of teachers who help you with that. I think what's really important though, is that if you're in year 11 right now, just think about the grades you're aiming for and aim to get the best possible grades right now. So when you do join us, you'll be in the best possible position. We've also got a really vibrant student union. We have a student union president who's elected each year and we've got student executive that you can join and represent your views and the views of your course and your views generally across the college. And we have all sorts of activities that run as part of that too. And student voice is an incredibly important part of life at Chichester College Group generally and at Crawley College in particular and we do do all sorts of things to take account of your views and, and do that. Um, and we also have a Progression Plus team so obviously when you're here you're part of a journey that goes through from when you join us to when you leave us and what you go on to and something that's really important to us is thinking about that and supporting you with that and the choices that you make. So if we just move on to the next slide that actually now brings us to the end of the things that we've got to say to you as a group um but we do want to actually now take the opportunity to ask to ask some to answer some of your questions and i can see below that actually we've got quite a few which is brilliant um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to talk through those and if they're about business i'll answer them and if they're about public services i'll pass them on to dave so um you've got some ones for business first of all what kind of equipment do you use in business that's a really good question um there's no specialized equipment that you need to do the business course um because what we're doing is we're looking at all sorts of skills to do with business and um there's no particular practical piece of equipment that you'll need what we do recommend though is that um when you're preparing to join us you've got things like file paper pen note paper things like that that um that you can use to help you in your studies. Um, second question, will you got any work experience for business? Yes, absolutely. Work experience is a really important part of all of our courses. It's something that it's important that all students do. And what we will do is we'll work with you to identify work experience opportunities and use some of our employer contacts to do that and that applies to public services as well we've got all sorts of contacts with different employers different organizations and it will be about exploring um what you want to go on to do so we work with banks law firms retailers and also some of the organizations associated with the public services and and make sure we place you in that and then we allocate work experience weeks later on in the year where you can go on and you can do your work experience. Um, another really great question here. Um, I'm not very good with coursework. What kind of support can you offer me? Well, one of our, most of our exam, our courses are completely coursework based. Um, two of the business courses at level three, year one and year two do involve some exams. Um, doing coursework well is very much about study skills. And it's about developing your ability to sort of have a look at what you've been taught, do some research and plan your writing and put it together. And what we do on all of our courses, is we really structure that 
for you and build it up. Um, depending on the course you do and the level you're doing it at, quite often the coursework will be much shorter and much more targeted and will be based on activities that you've done in class. And not all of our coursework is written either. Some of it is work is practical stuff that you can actually do in activity and be observed and assessed doing that activity. But where it is written, we do break it down for you, plan it with you, review it with you and really just break it down. We're very experienced in knowing what students need in that way. So don't worry at all about that. We will help you with that, support you with that. Um, having a look here. Um, so we've got some more questions here about the kinds of things we cover in business. So I'll deal with those ones first. Um, so as I said, it covers our business courses cover all different aspects of business. So in our level two business course, we join that together in something called business change. We look at the different changes and challenges that are facing business in terms of climate change, even COVID and the situation we've got at the moment. And we look at how you might respond to that as a business. At level three, we tend to break it down and look at the different kinds of businesses there are, public sector, private sector, large businesses, small businesses, and the different aspects of running a business. So like doing the finance, the budgeting, the marketing, organizing events, all the different things that you might cover in terms of a business. So it really does look at a bit of everything and there's a big variety there. Um, someone's asked a very specific question about what we cover. Will I learn about digital marketing as part of level two or level three business? And of course, that's a really brilliant question because of course, digital marketing and marketing on social media and the internet is a really big bit of business nowadays. Um, you'll be doing a little bit of that um, at level two, definitely. And on the first year of the level three course, looking at ways in which we market online. But actually, as part of the second year of our level three course, there's an entire unit that's all about digital marketing and looks at it in detail. So you'll definitely get an opportunity to do that. Um, yes, there are some minimum GCSE requirements. There's a question here about those grade threes that you will require to get onto the level two course. Um, if you don't get those, we do have a variety of other courses across the college that you can do. And also bear in mind that we do have a level one course for uniform services. And although that's uniform services rather than business, a lot of the skills and styles of working with a bit of written assignment, observed work are still the same. So there's definitely an opportunity to do that, whatever your GCSEs are. And I think the really important thing about applying to college and applying to Crawley College is that, although of course you're be working hard this year and trying to get the best possible grades, maybe already have GCSE grades, there will always be a course for you to do and we'll work with you and give you some advice and make sure that we found the right course for you. Um, so that's quite a few business questions and I'll probably talk for quite a bit. Um, so there's a question here about um, can I go on to university after level three in either business or public services and what support do you give for uni applications? Well, we talked a little bit about um, business um, and our very own business HND course that you can stay. That's a higher education course. You can go away to university as well. And we give loads of support in general for uni applications, particularly when you get onto level three and onto the second year of your level three course. We've got our own progression plus advisors who help you with that and put your application together, whether you're staying on with us to do higher education or you're going away to university. Um, I wonder, Dave, whether you wanted to say a little bit about the options for public services students, maybe either at university or in employment, and what can you go on to after you've done level three uniform services? Um, certainly, yes. Uh, well, the level three, uh, as, as I'm sure you're, you're aware, is, is a level equivalent. So it does it does give you what we call the UCAS points, the ones that um, you know you need to get into university. Now, the options at level three or completing a two year level three course are, of course, university. But if you're looking at one of the the armed forces. You have, in theory, got enough UCAS points to apply to be what's known as a commissioned officer. These are the ones that are 
are, are literally leading from day one and they are the ones that um, will go on to reach um, relatively high ranks. Now it's not just the qualifications, uh, it's, it's, it's your innate qualities, those ones that are built into you. So your, your, your leadership skills, your, your team building skills, uh, your, your, um, your integrity, your selflessness and all these key qualities that you require. But the, the, you know, at the end of the day, you've got the UCAS points to, to apply for that, uh, that commissioned officer's uh, role within Army, Navy, Air Force or Royal Marines. Again, it does prepare you for uh, the, a police career as well. Um, most UK uh, police forces now require um, a degree uh, a level of, of education. Now, having completed a level three public services course, that shows them, it proves to them that you are capable at, at uh, studying at that next higher level, which is degree level. So it does really prepare you um, in, in, in many aspects for, um, for that higher level of education there. Yeah, brilliant, thanks Dave. And um, I can see there's a couple of other public services questions here that I think it might be great for you to answer all together for us. So someone's asked, um, I want to work in security, would that be covered in public services? Yes, yes, it is. Well, over the last few years, we've had a lot of people who wanted to work in the, in the civilian security uh, sector, um, including um, places like Gatwick. And yes, that's covered in full. We do um, we do look at um, well, in the past, we've gone to Gatwick security to see how they actually work. So, um, and so we do get those um, those sort of pieces of experience. We we have done a prison visit too. Uh, and like I said, we do the, the police custodial suite. Uh, all these things uh, will, will tailor into your um, your experiences uh, when you're looking at security. So we've had people go on to uh, to work on doors at nightclubs um, a few years ago, and uh, and so there is no um, there's no real real sort of um, barriers or borders there. We can cover anything you do, and of course, if you do let us know that you want to get onto to sort of civilian security sector, then we can we can aim aim to. Uh, like I said before, to tailor that towards your needs and uh, look, yeah, you know, look at getting you your licenses, your certificates, and, and working towards those sorts of things. Okay, great. That sounds like a really good opportunity. Um, and I think one last question that I think has come up a, a couple of times, which um, um, you might be able to answer for us, Dave, is about kind of public services and fitness. Um, a couple of people are sort of worried about, um, oh, well, I'm not good at running, or I'm not, you know. I'm not maybe was what's the best of PE perhaps, but you know, is that gonna be a problem with doing public services? Um, no, we are all different, and that includes our levels of fitness too. Now, you don't have to be uh, Superman or Supergirl to join the course. What we aim to do, though, is to improve your fitness um, from from your you know your your day one fitness. We will work very gradually and very very carefully to um, you know to, to build your levels of fitness um, um, holistically. So that's not just you you be able to run fast or, or lift heavy weights. It's a whole thing. And it, the main aim, it, though, is to look at your uh, specific public service, the one you think you'd like to join. And for us, after they, that year or two year course, depending on what you do, um, for you to be able to pass that fitness course, because that's one of these things that you can fall at the first first hurdle, actually. So what we look at is, is those fitness requirements for the police or the fire service or the ambulance service or the navy or the army or the Royal Air Force. And we aim to get you there gradually. We don't want to break anyone. Uh, good, really pleased to hear that. Um, and actually, I've seen, um, obviously, now we've got talking about public services, I've seen while we've been talking that a couple more questions have come through. Um, I think the first one was, um, what kind of units do you cover at level three public services? Right, level three, level one, level two, actually, we cover pretty much the same units throughout. So the, the main, uh, we have certain mandatory units, ones we have to do, and then we get to pick some of the ones that we think you'd really like to do as well. Uh, so the main ones um, include things like preparing for a career. So showing you all the options um, of, of all the different public services, including the one that you, you particularly want to join if, if you do have that choice uh, or that, 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 that opinion um, in the first few weeks or months. Um, working towards the, the interview, having a, a, we call it a formal interview, but of course it's, it's a mock interview, but we try and make it as, as realistic as we can. And also we tailor it to your particular public services. So if you're joining the police, you'll be asked certain questions. If you're joining the army, you'll be asked different sorts of questions. 
So we, we will try and really, really get you sat down on that seat. That's what we aim for, you, to get you, get your bum on that seat for your interview, uh, and get you ready. So there's interview skills as part of that. Uh, it's also, we're looking at building up your, um, your self-confidence, your self-discipline and all those other qualities. That comes in our leadership and our team building uh, unit. So you will be, you'll be leading a small group. Then eventually you'll be leading a large, large group. You'll be given presentations as part of a team and also you'll be given presentations on your own. But we always start nice and slowly. We know that some people are very nervous and we know some people are very confident. We won't have you up in front of the, re of the others first day, first week or even first month. It's a very, very gradual process to build up your confidence. Sometimes it takes days, sometimes it takes weeks, sometimes it takes months. But we work at your, your pace on that. That's a very important thing. Uh, moving on, there's physical preparation, of course, we've mentioned getting you, you work, uh, ready, not just about getting fit, but eating the right things, following the right diet and, and, uh, and also leading a healthy lifestyle. It's more than just eating right. It's about not drinking too much and, you know, and other, other sort of substances we shouldn't be, be taking if we want to join one of those public services. Moves on to the outdoorsy stuff. We do, um, we do um, uh, Map and compass work, so navigation, um, that's that's a good uh, good way of getting out as well. So it's a nice enjoyable event. Um, we start again, start fairly easy, three or four miles walk. Uh, and then that will that will culminate in sort of 20 miles over two days, including a, um, an overnight camp. There are also other things we can do out, outdoors. We have a unit called land-based outdoor activities. This can include things like, oh, here we go, uh, abseiling, um, paintballing, archery, kayaking, um, where are we else going? Uh, it's, it's, um, kayaking, um, it was, uh, it was a rock climbing, archery, paintballing, abseiling, kayaking. Um, we've done so many things. The pictures did, did show you too, the sort of things we do. And also if you want to do a particular thing, then you let us know because we tend to work for you as well as you working for us. So there's any particular event you do want to do. Someone wanted to do the laser tag. We did that uh, uh, several months ago because the, the class wanted to do that and it worked well for the course too. So um, hopefully that answers it in a, in a rather large nutshell. Brilliant, thank you. Um, and um, you were talking about progression to the police. One last question that's come up here is, says, um, is the public services course recognized by the police force? As a, as a way of getting into the place. It is indeed, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Over, I mean, I'm, I've on and off been teaching this now for um, best part of 12 years. And every year we find that this course is being recognised more and more and more because so many public service students are getting into the police, the army uh, and all the rest of the public services. One thing we can't do is guarantee you a job in that particular area. It depends on many things. It depends on um, on supply and demand. You know, there might be a gap in police and they might start recruiting. Um, it depends on a number of factors but we aim to get you onto that seat for that interview and we do everything in our power to get you um, in front of the, of the rest of the queue um, so hopefully that answers that for you brilliant thanks dave um and as you can see from the slide that's up now um you can apply if you're from what you've heard this evening if you're interested in one of those business or public services courses you can apply right now you can go online to our website to apply for those um, or you can send us an email or even call us on the number that's on the screen if you have any difficulties finding what you need or um can't access that on the website then just you could give us a call send us an email and we'll be able to give you that advice and help you out so um all that remains now is just to thank you for coming um and now as this event draws to a close just to wish you a very good evening and thank you for joining us. Thanks.